Okay, well, welcome everyone to our social media and what you can do as parents to help your children with social media. So we've seen the, the studies that have come out from the CDC and from other doctors, and we've seen the research across the nation of the epidemic of social media and what it's doing to our children. And we are so lucky tonight that we have Senator Kirk Cullimore with us. Senator Kirk Cullimore is the, our Utah State Senator who sponsored legislat legislation to push back on social media companies uh, against them using algorithms to target our children. And the goal is to help give parents some backup support on what we can do as we're trying to monitor our children's social media accounts. So it by no means is it meant to replace us. I've been saying it's meant to be a backup for us, like a, what, what do you call it? Um, the, like having a wingman or having, uh, the, it's not, we're on the front lines as parents and it's our obligation to, to be that first line of defense. But this legislation is meant to provide us with tools and backup support to make that a little easier or, or make it a little more manageable. So we wanted to have Senator Kirk Cullimore come on and actually talk about the legislation for a minute about why he decided to take on this initiative and what it will actually do and how it will help us as parents. So, so Senator Cullimore, if you are able, we would love to have you unmute and even share video with us if you're in a position where you could share video with us. Well, thank you and uh, thank you for having me. Uh, appreciate all that you guys do and all that Corbin does uh, taking this on. Um, it was about a year ago that the governor met with Senate and House leadership and brought this issue up and presented some of the data about how, de how detrimental social media is to, to our kids and in particular, uh, teenage girls. And that really resonated with me because I am the father of six children and five girls, four of which are in those teenage years right now, 19, 17, 15, and 13. And I have seen personally firsthand the effects of social media on my daughters and, and also of course on their friends and everything. And so I, I know it just intuitively and anecdotally, I know how detrimental it is and how much it's changing their life experience from anything that we, we had as kids and, and how much uh, their interactions and their self-worth is based a lot upon those social media and the likes and getting the best posts and seeing where their friends are on Snapchat and, and making sure that you're in all the right cool places and all that. And, and it's just terrible. And, and uh, you know, I think the easy answer is, well, you're the parent, just make sure that they don't, they don't do it. Don't, don't let them have Snapchat. Don't let them have TikTok. And all I can say to that is I'm a very involved parent. My wife is very involved and we try. And, and I would say that it's a losing battle right now. You know, and I think a lot of parents feel that way. It's a losing battle and we need some better resources and we need help. I've talked to a lot of, I have a lot of friends, my siblings, my wife's siblings who, who say they don't let their kids on social media. And I, yeah, I don't call them out. Maybe I should, but I don't call them out, but I want to say no. In fact, I've seen your daughter's Snapchat account. I've seen your daughter's TikTok account. And, and so e even the best intentions of parents Kids find a way around it. And, he, and these are good kids. These are good, honest kids. And, and, but the lure of social media is just too strong. And so when the governor presented this idea to us, I, I said, historically, I am about small government. I don't like government intervening in our business. I don't like government intervening in our homes, particularly in our families. But I am ready to fight because this, this is not right. And this is affecting our kids very negatively and to a very great degree. Um, we have no problems as a, as a society banning drugs, alcohol, cigarettes for minors. We don't let them drive until they're 16. Well, social media, the data is out there and the data is clear. It is every bit as detrimental as nicotine and tobacco on our kids. And, you know, I, I would look around and say that most, most adults don't have the tools to effectively use 
social media. I mean, there's, there's too many of us that, that it, we let it dominate our lives. And yet we've just unleashed it on our kids and expect them to be able to navigate this in an appropriate way. It's just too difficult. And so uh, despite my reservations about government getting in, too involved in our lives, on this particular issue, I was 100% on board saying we as a state have a very vested interest in the well-being of our youth and we need to get involved and we need to do something because this is, this is just too bad. And so we ran these bills and uh, there's two companion bills. They started off very strong and that was intentionally, that was strategic to say, listen, we're, we, we mean business. We're gonna take this to you and let's find the right policy. And so what we ended up with is two bills that have a delayed effective date. So they don't go into effect until next year at about this time. So that one, we can give the social media companies time to ramp up and figure out how they're gonna address this. And two, we can also kind of look at these bills and find out what, what things we may need to tweak to, to ensure their effectiveness and that we would have another legislative session to do that before they went into effect. But essentially we're giving, we're requiring that any social media companies that allow minor accounts, those minor accounts have to be associated with a parent account or at least a supervising adult. And that supervising adult would have unfettered access to that account so they can see what, what the kids are looking at, who's messaging them. The bill prohibits any direct messaging from anybody other than who they're directly friends with. It prohibits the collection of data on our minors. It prohibits uh, very targeted and specific algorithms that cause these addictive behaviors among our minors. And so we, we made giant inroads into regulating this for the protection of our kids. Uh, the other thing, the other bill, the other thing we did was we, we made social media companies potentially liable and created a private right of action for parents to sue social media companies for the harm that they're doing to these kids. And not only that, we created a rebuttable presumption that there was in fact harm. And so the social media companies in court would have to rebut that they were the cause of the harm or that there was actually harm. So we, we essentially gave parents a leg up in the event that there is litigation on this. And so I, you know, Utah has one of the earliest sessions in the year and we have one of the shortest sessions. And so we were the first state to really do this drastic of legislation against social media companies for minors. But I know that there's a lot of other states that are following suit and have an interest in protecting their kids as well. And so I expect to see some other legislation throughout this next year, which I think is a good thing because you often need a proliferation of this type of legislation across the country for Congress to really take it up because obviously, as we know, Congress moves kind of slow. But seeing a bunch of other states get into this will be the impetus for Congress to take it up and, and create better safeguards for our kids with the use of social media. And so this, this was a step one, but it was a big step. And, and I'm super proud of what we were able to do here in Utah. It got bipartisan support. Of course, the governor was behind it and we signed those bills today. And so uh, excited about where we're at and, and, and for protecting our kids. Um, I'm happy to take any questions and, and appreciate you guys discussing this today. Okay. And I just enabled the chat in, in case anyone has any questions that they want to throw out there. And Senator Kalimer, can you help me out? Uh, is it socialmedia.utah.gov? Is that the new uh, website that they launched? I think so. I, I actually just first heard that today too. So yes. Oh, okay. So I had the opportunity to attend the signing of this bill, um, socialmedia.gov. Oh, darn it. I'm going to have to look it up, but then I'll put um, it in the- socialmedia.utah.gov. Utah.gov. Okay. And uh, it allows parents to, uh, uh, what's the right word, to come to put their complaints in there to if that if there has been a violation by a social media, it allows you as a parent to report your complaint there. And I actually had the opportunity to talk with the division, the head of the division of consumer services that's over that. And she said, make sure you tell parents that you, they lodge their complaints with us. It's not through the better business bureau, or it's not, you know, through something else. It's through socialmedia.utah.gov. And they're really excited. I think they're feeling the momentum of, you know what, we want to protect our children in any way that we can. And although I think it's been said over and over that this is not the end all be all by any means, this is just a tool in the toolbox, but we need the full toolbox or the full artillery to be able to, to take this on. Um, but we're grateful that there's at least one piece that we have at our disposal to be able to 
um, protect our kids and try to promote that mental health. I think you said that exactly right. This is not government solving the solution. The solution still needs to be solved at home, but it is a good big first step and first a good resource for parents to help help address this because like I said earlier, even the most well-intentioned parents trying to keep their kids away from the harms of this stuff are are frankly failing. Right. Well, Senator Cullimore, thank you so much for your time. I don't see anything in the chat right now, I'm, I am not sure if I enabled it properly, but we are, oh, here's one that just came through. Let's see. Just yesterday, face, Facebook Marketplace showed me an extremely graphic porn video, oh, of an older man with a young girl right at the top of the page as if it was being promoted. My first thought was my older kids could have seen it. Uh, he said, please bring legislation against this as well. So, you know, I think uh, I appreciate that there's a movement and a desire to push back on this. So uh, again, Senator Colomar, thank you so much for, for being willing to first take on this issue. Um, you know, thank you for champion, championing it for us, first off. And then thank you for being willing to um, come on with us and explain it to Utah families and how this can really benefit us and help us. Thank you. Thank you again for having me. And thank you guys for all of your efforts and championing these causes and looking out for our kids.